Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Aliza Alexander. Joining us today again is the Gram Wiz. Hello, friends. I hope you are having a great day. Today, we are going to learn and explore a set of new words. They are going to be on synonyms and antonyms. To prepare yourself for this, why don't you grab a notebook and your stationery like a pencil and a ruler. What if I don't have those things, Miss Elisa? Do not worry if you don't. You will still be enjoying this together. Now, before we start, repeat these sentences after me. I am good. I am good. I am smart. I am smart. I am kind. I am kind. I am happy. I am happy. Great job, everyone. Now, are we ready to learn something new? I am, and I'm sure everyone is excited as well. Well, I think I want to take you to somewhere new. Where shall we go, Grambis? Mm, shall we go to Africa? Or somewhere cold like Switzerland? Or somewhere with beautiful sakura trees like Japan? Uh, hmm. I think we should go to Australia because Australia is the only country that has kangaroos. Do you want to join me on this adventure? Of course! Now, I have my luggage packed. Hmm. But where is my luggage? Hmm? Grand Beast, did you happen to see my luggage anywhere? Luggage? Hmm. The only thing I can see here is your bag. Yes, my luggage, my bag. It is the same thing. How could that be the same? Luggage is different word from bag. Hmm. Well, this is what we call as synonyms. They are words that have the same or almost the same meaning. Like luggage, bag. Isn't that interesting, boys and girls? Can you think of any words that are different but with the same meaning? I am sure you have a few in your mind right now. Can I have my bag now, please? Of course. Here you go. Have a sad journey. Sad journey? Did you mean the opposite of it? A happy journey? Yes. Sorry. Have a happy journey to Australia. Thank you, Grammys. Well, did you know that words of the opposite meaning like sad and happy are known as antonyms. Now, what other words have opposite meaning that you can think of? Keep them in your mind while we are flying off to Australia. See you later, Grammys! Alright, mate! That was a long journey. Can you think of a synonym for long, boys and girls? That is absolutely right. The synonym for long is lengthy. Great job! How about an antonym for long? You nailed that. The antonym for long is short. Now, let's explore a few places in Australia. While we are exploring, Shall we look for words that we could think of its synonym and antonym? Keep your eyes wide open. Our first stop is Phillip Island. 
Look, there is a small penguin under the rocks. Small. What is the synonym of small? What word has the same or almost the same meaning as small? Yes, you are right. Tiny. Those are tiny penguins under the rocks. How about the antonym of small? What is the opposite of small? Oh yeah, this antonym of small is big. Great job, boys and girls. Now that we have seen the penguins, let me take you to Leicester Field to see the kangaroos. I see two near the tree. The kangaroos look beautiful. Hmm, beautiful. What is the synonym of beautiful, boys and girls? I think you have that one right. Gorgeous. The kangaroo looks gorgeous. Can you think of another synonym for beautiful? Hmm. I've got one. Pretty. The kangaroo looks pretty. Great job, boys and girls. How about the antonym for beautiful? Can you think of one? That is absolutely right. Ugly. I think there is one more antonym for beautiful that I can think of. Hideous. You are doing a great job, everyone. I hope you are having fun looking at places in Australia with me. Shall we drive to the Redwood Forest now? Here we are, the Redwood Forest. Be careful when you walk between those trees. There might be sharp twigs. Sharp. What is the synonym of sharp? Can you think of one? You almost got that one right. Pointy. There might be pointy twigs. Now, how about the antonym of sharp? Hmm. Blunt. Blunt is the opposite of sharp. That was a great walk, wasn't it? Let's take the train to the city now. We are now at Flinders Station. That was a fast ride. Fast. Let's think of a synonym for fast. Hmm. You are absolutely right. Quick. That was a quick ride. Great job, boys and girls. Now, how about the antonym of fuss? You got this one right too. Slow, like a snail. The opposite of fast is slow. I hope you are enjoying this trip as much as I do while learning new words. Now, let's look for a restaurant to have dinner. Mmm. The food was delicious. I loved the burger. But I think the burger was a little expensive. Don't you think so? 35 ringgit for one burger. Expensive. What other words mean expensive? I can't think of one. Can you? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got one synonym for expensive, dear. Not this dear, but D-E-A-R, dear. I think the beggar was a little dear. Nice job. The antonym of expensive would then be correct, cheap. Great job, everyone. Shall we recall the words that we have learned 
thus far? First, we had long. The synonym for long is lengthy and the antonym for long is short. Then, we had small. The synonym for small is tiny. The antonym for small is big. Beautiful. The synonym for beautiful is gorgeous and pretty. The antonym for beautiful is ugly and hideous. Remember, we can have more than one synonym and antonym for one word like beautiful. Next, we had sharp. The synonym for sharp is pointy and the antonym for sharp is blunt. After that, it was fast. The synonym for fast is quick. The antonym for fast is slow. And lastly, it was expensive. The synonym for expensive is dear. The antonym for expensive is cheap. I'm sure you're all now an expert in synonym and antonym. Great job, boys and girls. Now, I have two games for us to play. Let's practice our synonyms and antonyms together. The first game is the odd one out. For this game, there will be a picture or a word. You need to shout out the odd answer, meaning the wrong answer. There will be a timer for 10 seconds. So answer by then. The first round is going to be for synonyms. Remember, synonyms are words that have the same or almost the same meaning. Let's start the game. Scat and frighten are synonyms. The odd one out is brave. Great job, boys and girls. One point for you. On to the next one. Garbage and trash have the same meaning. The odd one out is dustbin. One more point for you there. If you're not getting it right, it is all right. Practice makes perfect. How about another one? Thin and slim have the same meaning. The odd out one is beautiful. Great job. I am sure you are getting there. Let's try another one. Ill and sick are synonyms. The odd one out is rich. Fantastic. One last one. Kind and helpful have the same meaning. So, the odd one out is shy. Are you now ready for round two? Round two is going to be on antonyms. The first one. I'm sure you got this one right. The antonym of left is right. So, the odd one out is up. On to the next one. The opposite of stop is go. Therefore, the odd one out is run. I am sure you are doing just fine there. So, one point for you. The next one. The antonym of laugh is cry. So, the odd one out is... Happy. Fantastic job, boys and girls. The last one here. Yes, you are absolutely right. The opposite of lazy is hardworking. Hardworking just like all of you at home. This makes smart the odd one out. Great job, everyone. 
Here's the grater, here's the cheese. You are great, great, great. Are you up for another game, boys and girls? Well, if you are, why don't you open that notebook of yours and grab your pencil? The name of this game is Tic-Tac-Toe. Draw the grids of Tic-Tac-Toe just like this one here with the words. You could get your siblings, parents, friends, or even your grandparents to play this game with you. Now that you are ready, I am going to tell you how to play this game. If you find a synonym of the word that appears, draw a circle in the box. And if you find, if you find an antonym for the word, draw a cross in the box. Remember, synonym, circle, antonym, cross. If you get a row of three crosses or three circles, you win the game. Are we ready for tic-tac-toe? The first word is present. Can you find a synonym or antonym for this word? Yes, you are absolutely right. The synonym for present is gift. So circle the word gift because it is a synonym. The next one is heavy. Can you find a synonym or antonym for this word? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. The antonym for heavy is light. Cross the word light. Great job, everyone. Moving on to the next word, difficult. Can you find a synonym or antonym for this word? Hmm, what do you think? Difficult means something that is hard. So, circle the word hard. This is a tough competition. Hmm, let's get this going. The next word is strong. Can you find a synonym or an antonym for this word? Look carefully. Did you find an answer? I think I found one. Weak. The opposite of strong is weak. So let's cross this word here. One more antonym to win. What is the next word? Brother. Can you find a synonym or antonym for this word? Sister is the antonym for brother. Another antonym to cross. Did we win this? I am afraid we have not because it is not in a straight line. This is exciting, isn't it? The next word is near. Well, near means something that is close to us. I see close. Let's circle this word here. We are circling it because it is a synonym. Are you getting this right, boys and girls? I am sure you are trying your best. Keep it going. Next word is up. This is easy. What do you think is the answer? That is absolutely right. The antonym for up is down. Let's cross the word down. That is three crosses in a straight line. I think we just won the game. Congratulations everyone. Here's the grater and here's the cheese. You are great, great, great. I hope you enjoyed this game. You have been great and I'm sure you know what is synonym and antonym by now. I have a fun fact for you today about Australia. I saw you having fun with Miss Alisa visiting interesting places there. Did you know that the meaning of Australia is unknown southern island? But Australia is famous today. Everyone knows Australia. It is also known as the land down under. Did you also know that Australia is an island and it is a continent on its own? 
a continent of its own? That is brilliant! Malaysia is part of the Asia continent that are of 48 countries in it. But Australia is the continent that has only Australia in it. This is indeed a fascinating fact. Boys and girls, do you know any fun facts about Australia? I am certain that there are many facts about Australia. Well, if you don't, you could always try searching for a few over the internet. Thanks, Graham Reese, for the interesting fun facts about Australia. I had a wonderful time exploring Australia with all of you. At the same time, we had a fantastic time learning synonyms and antonyms from things we saw during our trip. Isn't the English language fun to explore? We got to learn about words that we have the same or almost the same meaning, which is also known as, yes, synonyms. And words that have the opposite meaning, which are known as, yes, you are right, antonyms. As a quick wrap up, Let's have a rapid fire round to recall all the synonyms and antonyms that we have learned today. Get ready with your notebook and pencil. You may even use your dictionary to help you with this. Write down as many answers as you can. Try writing at least one synonym and one antonym for the word. Are you ready? We have time till you hear this sound. The first word is expensive. Write down the synonym and antonym for expensive. The next word is long. Think of a synonym and an antonym for long. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Terrific. Coming up is sharp. What is the synonym and antonym for sharp? Next, we have beautiful. Can you think of a synonym and an antonym for beautiful? Good job. I am sure you are doing great. Coming up is... Oops! The time is up. I hope you tried your best. Do not worry if you did not answer all the questions correctly. Always remember, the more you read, the more words you will learn. So, keep reading! For that, I have a mega challenge for all heroes here today. Your mega challenge is to create a synonym and antonym superhero card. Here is an example of a superhero card that I have made. Your mega challenge is to create a superhero of your own. Then, think of a characteristic of the superhero that you like. For example, brave. On one side, list the synonyms for the word brave. On the other side, list the antonyms for the word brave. Once you're done, snap a picture of your superhero card. Upload them in any social media with the permission of your parents or guardians. Do not forget to use these hashtags below. I hope you will enjoy completing this mega challenge at home. Till we meet again another time, this is us signing off. Miss Eliza Alexander and Grand Bye bye. bye.
And always remember, here's the greater, here's the cheese. You are great, great, great.